If you're trying to get your PS4 controller to work on your PC using an emulator, stay tuned for this video. I'm about to teach you how to do it. And sorry for the quality of this camera. I'm using the potato edition to record. All right, y'all. Welcome. Hold on. Y'all gonna hear some noise. It's unprofessional. I don't care. Look, man, I'm just going to teach you this tutorial, how to get this done so y'all can use your PS4, your Xbox controller to... Um, Play these memes on your PC like I'm doing, okay? I'm not trying to do all this fancy graphics, um, fireworks, crazy intros, and, you know, techno music playing in the background. I'm up here to straight up tell you straight, I don't know, is OBS recording? Yeah, it is. Okay. To show y'all what is the business so y'all can play your games and have a good time. So, first things first, right? So, um, you have a meme. I'm assuming you have a meme. And some memes I've been running there, um online that is 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 straight garbage okay um they don't tell you anything they don't give you any instructions because um i don't know what happened to this main community i just left and came back and it used to be like you just come in here and you just get maim and you just put your file in and then you just start playing and all this extra stuff start happening so i had to get a tutorial from this guy right here i want y'all to click on this video right here main guys for dummies bios and this guy's pretty much just tell you oh uh, he'll walk you through it like step by step to how to get your main running if your main is not running at all so click on this guy video right here he even have a, like a link kind of prepared to get your main running on your pc so just type this in just look for this his name is Derek moore just click on that guy video i downloaded his main thing um it doesn't have the roms in there he can say he can't do it because of legal issues or something. But he pretty much have the main set up. So basically, the only thing you have to do is just insert the ROMs on there. So all right, after you do this, you download this stuff, or you come back to this. You just say you got your main running, right? And you've been to his channel, or you just got it running on your own, right? So what you do is, I want you to go to Google. Let me see. Type up Chrome. Google Chrome. I'll do it. Go to Google. I don't care because I go Google.com. All right, hold on. You see this? You were going. This is the application we're using. It's called Re WASD or whatever. Re W A S D. Anyway, so we're gonna go to uh, Google Chrome, and we're gonna type Re A S D. Here you go. I already typed it. P S four to P C or if you're using the Xbox to Xbox One to P C. So we gonna click on this. All right. So this is basically, you know, they're going to tell you what's up. So all about this. Okay. So you want to click on this. It says handset the PS4 controller. It'll tap you. Use all this stuff. Yep. So you'll click on this. And then, so this get all you the information and stuff, right? So what you want to do is you want to download it. All right. You're going to download it. And then you save it to wherever you you know, you get your download, your desktop or your download folder. If you got a certain folder, it doesn't matter. You're going to set it up. All right. I'm not going to download it because I already downloaded it. So you're going to click this. It's going to take forever. Um, I don't know. Uh, hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. All right. So this should be up by default. All right. Your keyboard. All right. My PS4 control is already plugged up into my computer. Um, to make sure... It sees your PS4. It shouldn't light up at first. It's not gonna light. It might light up. I'm not sure what happened. But I think after I got all the settings in, my light, my yellow light bar is on my PS4. But um, to make sure it's plugged up, I don't know if you can hear this through the mic. The controller should vibrate to let you know the PC sees your PS4 controller, right? So you come into your PS4 controller, right? And Basically, what you can do is um, you just hit whatever direction or button you want on your PS4, and you want it to operate on your keyboard. That's what you're trying to do. So basically, just say you want to um, you want W like I did. I'm gonna hit up on my controller, and um, see this. I'm gonna hit E and just hit E on the keyboard. It changes to E. On the keyboard, I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna hit W because I want it. Um, that's how I have my set. Had it set up. I'm gonna go back to W. 
just hit it um whatever you want the button to be on your keyboard just hit the button on your keyboard sorry i'm all jumbling and stuff but you know it's pretty much um even though i'm just fumbling over my words pretty much makes sense so let's just uh let's just hit the down button right so let's just say I want the down the button to be um I don't know M for like um I don't know M for motherfucker all right so I'm gonna hit M on the keyboard and it changed the M so you ain't got to do all this scrolling thing like I want you to do right so no so I'm gonna go back and um what did I have for M I think I had oh fuck I fucked it up <laughs> oh man I need to stop cussing I'm sorry um let's see X I think it was X all right. So you do all of that, right? So you set up all your keys and stuff, right? But you kind of want, you might want to do that last, though. So, just showing y'all how it works. So, so what my here you go. I made a folder name that actually works. But this is the name that works. I'm gonna load up all this stuff. I'm gonna do this so y'all can see what's going on. It's probably gonna lag. No, no, it shouldn't lag. It's in full screen mode. All right, sorry about that. I'm gonna have to edit that part and just show clip bits and clips of this because this was playing blaring music in the background. But for the most part, you wanna hit escape and go to the first option. Go to player one controls. Here's the setup I was talking about that I had. As you can see, I have for up, I press W. And for down, I press X. So that's how I was using a directional pad to input in the controller. You have to set it up like this to um, get the controller to respond up, down, left, right. So you have to go to this input screen right here. Then after that, you want to hit escape. Then it should bring you back to this screen. Then you want to hit escape again. Go to the second option of input. All right, this option right here will show you like the setup of what buttons to, you know, map and press. For primarily for your um, attack or whatever action button. It depends on what game you're playing. So you may want to map out or, you know, set it up on wet buttons and you might want to you know tap it on the keyboard to see what button does wet before you map it on your controller no it's going to take a while but it's annoying but this is a quick solution to fix it so yeah go through this so after you do this you want to hit escape and hit escape again and then after that um my video will resume back of what you need to do on your controller after you configure all this into your main um program so yeah so i'll go back to talking in this video so yeah here we go so after you finish all mapping all of this and you putting all your buttons depending on how you personally want to configure and stuff make sure um you hit this apply button and it's going to tell you all this stuff to say who cheated in competitive games um look <laughs> Look, if y'all compete in games, man, don't be a douchebag and start cheating, okay? Just use use it for MAME, you know, primarily. I don't know. I don't know use it at your own will. I'm just saying, just use it at your own will. But it's going to give you this warning. Don't be doing, basically saying, don't be an asshole and cheating in games and stuff. So you just hit OK. And then you're all set. If you're using a PS4 controller, a yellow light bar, whatever color at the top of your PS4 controller should be lit up. If you have an Xbox controller, I don't know what's supposed to happen because I own a PS4 and a Nintendo Switch. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much that's it. The thing about this is just letting you guys know, this is a 14-day trial. So, I'm using a trial version. And it still works. I don't know how much they make you like the purchase. I don't know if it's monthly description or you just one time purchase. I think it was like $9.99 or something. I don't know. But this is a quick fix solution that I can find as of right now. So um, I guess y'all just support these guys for like $9.99. And you know, y'all can just game like that. And that's my only fix for the information. 
But yeah, I'm out this video. I just decided to show you guys how to do it because um, I had to go through a lot of fucking hoops and hurdles and rings on fires to figure this stuff out. So I'll just probably, I just did this just, you know, to make it easier on you guys and stuff. So yeah. So anyways, I am out this video. That's my tutorial on how to get your PS4 and Xbox controller to work on main programs. All right. So y'all have a good day. Get out of here! <laughs>